Hi guys, and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now, finally, we have something cool to show you that is not a handheld radio. Now, this is the Porter RF, currently on pre-order from opensourcesdrlab.com. This version that I'll show you in this video is a pre-production model, so there will be some things different when the production version starts shipping towards the end of November. Now, I'll talk more about those points as we go through the video. The Porter RF is an open source hardware platform that combines the Hack RF1 R10 and the Porter Pack H4M into a single board. It supports transmit and receive from 1 MHz right up to 6 GHz, all in the palm of your hand. It can run completely standalone with its inbuilt decoders and encoders. However, you can still connect it to a computer via the USB C port if you need to. Now, improvements over the H4M include increased flash storage size. That's from 1 meg to 2 meg. The screen on the Porter RF is a 4 inch IPS high definition display compared to the 3.2 inch non IPS matte display that's found on the H4M. Now, later on, we'll look inside, but the internal battery has also been increased to 3000 mAh, which significantly increases usage time. An intelligent battery protection board has also been used to protect against things like overcharging, over discharging, short circuits, and overcurrent. Now, it's also stated that the internal lithium battery is actually produced by a legitimate factory with guaranteed quality. You do still, however, have to have it turned on to charge the battery. As well as the larger screen and the form factor of the Porter RF, it's noticeable a new addition on controlling mayhem and that's with the inclusion of a little joystick. Now this actually works in conjunction with the rotary control that's located on the top right. They both feature essentially an enter or confirmation button in the center, which does the same thing. Now personally, I quite like having the option of both of these available. The case on this version that I'm showing you in this video will not be the final production quality. It will be better than this, although currently, I actually quite like the feel and look of this case. If it can be made better than this, then it will definitely add to the professional feel of the Porter RF when it comes out. Now, if you're familiar with the Hack RF and Porter Packs, then you'll be pleased to know that Mayhem and associated applications are fully supported, or at least they will be by the time the Porter RF is shipped. Fingers crossed. Now, I know that the Mayhem development team are working extremely hard right now at getting all of this working. So I don't think that should be an issue. Now, if we take a closer look at the Porter RF, on the bottom side, we have the usual status LEDs from the Hack RF board. We also have an SD card slot and a physical power on and off switch. On the right side, there's a 3.5 millimeter socket, which can be used for external microphone or headphones. There's also the USB-C socket, which can be used for charging or connecting to a computer as well as the large screen rotary control and the joystick on the front panel. There's also a DFU button and reset button, which is slightly recessed so you don't accidentally press them. But it's kind of nice to have it easily available if you have an issue where you need to quickly reset the Porter RF. You will notice there's only one single SMA socket on the Porter RF, and that's obviously for the antenna. Reference clock input and output connections have been removed on this. And to be honest, I do understand why. As the Porter RF is kind of designed as a portable device, using those clock inputs and outputs would normally be performed in the shack or in the lab. On the rear of the Porter RF, you also see two areas which look like speaker grills. Well, yep, inside there are actually two speakers, with one of them connected. If you remember, the last video I made on the H4M, I showed you an exposed GPIO port which could be used with external modules. Now this pre-production version I have does not have a GPIO port exposed, but according to the guys over at Open Source SDR Lab, the production version will have this available, most likely located on the back, like shown here. Now, if we take it apart to look inside, we can see that single board and underneath here, the two internal speakers and the internal rechargeable battery. Now, only one speaker is connected at the moment, and that's because the second speaker is reserved for a possible exciting new feature that will be released, and that will be an AI module that can respond to voice commands. 
Now, the main RF components of this board would normally have a metal shielding. Now, on this pre production model, I do not have it installed, but the production version will have it installed in this location. Now, next to this, we can see the add on module, the MDK. Now, this is removable and interchangeable. And this is where the AI module would most likely fit. Currently, this module, which is installed, is essentially the same as the module I showed you in a previous video of the H4M, where developers can design and create their own expansion packs using this MDK or ESP32. Now, the performance in terms of reception and transmission will be the same as the R10 model. Amp protection will also be the same as the R10 version. And feedback from the designer says that the R10 amp protection has seen significantly less failures than previous versions of the Hack RF board. Now, like I mentioned before, the Porter RF is currently on pre-order and as far as I know, only available from the open source SDR Lab website. Now, I'll leave a link below if you want to check it out or make a pre-order. Now, if you've watched this video and you do not know what a Hack RF is or a Porter pack or this Porter RF, then please take a look through some of my videos where you can find out more about the Hack RF and its capabilities. It's a great tool for learning and experimenting with RF radio frequencies. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about this down in the comments below. If you want me to check out anything on this or make a video on a particular feature of the Porter RF, then let us know down in the comments. Essentially, it is a Hack RF with a Porter pack, but in a completely different form factor with a few additions. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video.